Hi guys, so another Mary's mini video, and this was a rice mini that we did. Um, my husband did it along with me, and we just found it super, super easy. It was actually even easier than the potato mini, in our opinion. Um, it was just really easy to make a whole pot of rice in the Instapot and, you know, have that for the day, and that was great. Um, we also, you know, we changed up the rice. So we had like wild rice, we had brown rice, and then we ran out of brown rice because we prefer eating brown rice. So we actually bought basmati. Um, some people say you can't change the rice. Some people say you can. So we decided to change up the rice throughout the 10 day mini um, and it worked out just perfect. Um, everything was super, super easy. We did like mixed veg, lots of green beans again, as you saw in the potato mini. I'm kind of obsessed with green beans lately. So we did a lot of that. Um, I also have like a Normandy mix, which is broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot. And we ate a ton of that. And Costco has these really big, big bags. So it's really, really cheap. Um, you know, you just make that and then have your starch of choice, which for us was rice this time. And that's what we ate for 10 days, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I actually made a rice pudding in one of my last videos. So check that out if you want to um, try to make it. Again, it's not like the most amazing rice pudding. That's not what we're going for. It's going to be very simple because we have very limited ingredients that we're allowed to use. But thinking outside the box, you know, you want to have like that comforting breakfast. So I decided to just put a whole bunch of organic cinnamon, water, rice in the pot. I overcooked it so that it was kind of like mushy like a pudding. And that's what I did. And if you wanted to, you could drizzle some maple syrup on it. I don't know, like I tried to just do cinnamon so that I can stay compliant, um, but some people say they have to have, you know, something that's not necessarily compliant in order to finish the 10 days, but in very tiny, tiny quantities. So you decide what you want to do. But as far as the rice mini went, we had a lot of energy. Um, I feel really good. I actually feel like you can do this on a long-term basis if you wanted to. Um, the hubby was actually saying he wouldn't mind doing it Monday to Friday and have weekends as like our, you know, other uh, meals that we want, our cheat meals, our date nights, that kind of thing, um, and then stick to this during the week. So we had less bloating. We felt really good. Our energy was high. Um, again, it just really was simple, especially because we work long hours. You know, after a 12 hour shift, it's really easy for me to eat a starch and veggies. It actually really worked really well for my lifestyle. I didn't have to think about, you know, all these ingredients that I needed in order to make a meal. I didn't have to think about what I was going to put together for dinner. It was just ready for me in the fridge um, or in the Instapot and it was so, so easy to stay compliant for me. So a lot of people have asked um, about the weight loss aspect. How much weight did we lose? Um, I'm not sure what my husband lost, but I lost seven pounds and that's what I lost on the potato mini. It was the same. So the only thing I noticed is that by day three or by day two, something like that, I had dropped like four pounds. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that was kind of surprising. Um, but then it kind of like stays consistent. So you're not like constantly losing so much right off the bat. So that's the only thing that I noticed that was different. Um, so yeah, seven pounds in 10 days, which is really good. So if you're looking at a quick weight loss, um, I guess the Mary's Mini would be really good for you. So we were basically wanting to come into the Mary's Mini, like I've said in other videos, because we wanted to kind of gain more control about our eating patterns and being mindful, you know, like, are we really hungry? Are we not hungry? Um, are we full now? Should we stop eating? Um, we were kind of, overeating is basically what was happening and snacking when we weren't hungry so this kind of reset us and bought us you know it's quite boring you're eating your starch and your veggies and that's it so with that diet being boring you're not tempted to go and eat other things and if you're hungry you're going to go get that bowl of rice and that veggies or the potatoes whatever you're choosing for your mary's mini and you're not going to be reaching for the chips or you know even like healthy chips like we weren't eating things that were bad but so many extra calories that we didn't really need um and also there's hidden oil in certain things and we try to stay oil free so then you know well we'll have a little bit of this now and a little bit of that you know we're not having it every day but then 
after the week, you know, in your reflecting on all the things you ate, it's actually a lot. So it kind of made us rethink our eating patterns and, um, you know, what our best choices are for us to make us optimally healthy. So my goal is to make some veggie patties that I can air fry using the um, mix of rice, which is like the wild rice blend, and then also just some mixed veggies. So there's broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot in here, and I'm just hoping to form some patties and then pop them into the air fryer so that I can have for the Mary's Mini, and let's see how it works. added some paprika and some garlic powder and I'm gonna pulse again until I can get some sort of a patty like consistency and I can form them so let's see how it goes so I added garlic powder and paprika and then I'm going to pulse it again it's starting to get to that consistency that I'm wanting I put a splash of soy sauce the Bragg soy sauce So here is what I was left with. It's just all processed and it's just the wild rice and the mixed veggies and then I'm going to form them into a patty and pop them onto the parchment paper inside of my air fryer. So I'm just popping them onto the parchment. They don't look the greatest right now. I'm going to try to form them and let's see what we can do. So here are the patties. I've just placed a little bit at a time until I basically made the patty um, the size that I wanted and it's just the wild rice and the veggies and I just put them in the processor like you saw very simple paprika and garlic is in it and a splash of soy sauce and that's it like not much to it now I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer There's still some more mixture, so I'll probably make another, maybe, I'll probably have enough for another three patties or so. Popping them into the air fryer. So it's just preheating for five minutes. It'll get nice and hot. And then I will turn it on for 15 minutes and then check on them. They may need to be flipped and cooked for a few more minutes after that.
So here's a perfect example of a Great Mary's mini meal, just the wild rice and the Normandy vegetable mix, which is broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot. And it's just super easy and super simple. And I like how I can have the rice already pre-made. I just make my veggies fresh because I don't really like them sitting around unless I'm meal prepping for work. I will make them fresh. It only takes a minute anyway. Um, and then I just topped it with some sriracha and that's it. Super filling. And again, I do like the 50-50 plate. So 50% of my um, starch and then also 50% of my plate is my mixed veggies or I'll have like one big salad along with my starch of choice, which for right now is rice because of the rice mini.